Just going to do a quick video here of this uh, 2007 B7 Audi RS4 with a uh, 2.7T swap. Just kind of document some of the uh, changes that took place to the car here for maybe for some future reference or anybody that's looking. Uh, these downpipes are your excess power, SS autochrome, whatever. Um, uh, three to two and a half inch downpipes. Uh, they had to be modified to get uh, to go under this um, um, this uh, transmission mount bracket here because uh, they traditionally come out a little bit higher on the B5 and C5 ch chassis. They're a bit higher. So what I've done here is I've added approximately, approximately two inches to the section immediately after it necks down from three inches to two and a half. I added this two inch section, which I took out of one of these rear sections here, which are now much shorter. Um, on the right here, I added a little more than two inches and in hindsight, I didn't really need to, but I did this all with the uh, drivetrain on a bench. So it, uh, uh, you know, uh, this, you know, it wasn't in the vehicle, so it was hard to determine exactly where this was going to be because the weight wasn't hanging from it. In any case, the right side is just a tiny bit lower than the left. Um, I'd say maybe, you know, three eighths of an inch or so. And then the remaining pipes here uh, were cut to length uh, and this was flared out just a bit to match one to one with the uh, RS4 pipe because this is just a bit smaller but so you know nice and tight in here V-band clamps um, for the mounts here I, I did want to use these spring mounts this is the stock RS4 bracket here it's just been all I did with this is turn it around basically I turned it around this piece was on the left side of the RS4 now it's on the right and it just happens to work out okay for the right side uh, stock bracket used up there this bracket you see here is stock. It just had to elongate the holes a bit to get it, you know, to line up. Uh, but uh, and this bracket came off of a C5 all road, uh, and it lines up okay without cutting up the the downpipes, which was kind of my, my goal. Cut up as little as I have to. Um, the uh, subframe no cha no uh, changes. This is a stock B7 RS4 subframe. As you can see, there's considerably more room here uh, than you do have in your B5 and C5 chassis for the 2.7T. So that's kind of a nice welcome uh, thing. Not that you can, you still can't, uh, you know, do the turbos in situ, but uh, um, it's, it works better this way. So um, moving ahead to the front here, um, we'll go up to the front side. I've added this um, dynamite-like material for protection to keep the hoses from abrading. Uh, on the left, uh, sorry, on the right side here, uh, there was a bracket for the RS4 has a, uh, a mount off the front engine, off the front of the engine right here. So, so I cut that whole bracket off and again, cut the, uh, the, the top of the lip off. Uh, as you can, you can kind of see the lip there going forward. There is a tiny bit more clearance, but not much. This is again, it's very close to, to the, uh, to the rail, the nature of the beast. Um, intercoolers, uh, I've made a bracket here. Uh, as you can kind of see that goes back. And it's, uh, it's isolated with a rubber isolator back here uh, to, the, um, to the same bolt that holds the bracket for the um, uh, AC receiver dryer here. Um, see, not much clearance, but if this, if this wasn't a, uh, an RS4, this would be even tighter because on the narrow body uh, uh, B6, B7s, uh, the receiver dryer is uh, further inboard. So I'm not sure how people normally do that because I've got this pretty much as tight as it goes. And even though I've got this as pushed back as I'm comfortable with without uh, tweaking too much of the uh, uh, the intercooler hoses, uh, you cannot use the stock fog lights here. The, uh, the back of the light connector will hit this before the bumper touches the fender here. We've got about three quarter of an inch of interference here. I've got a, a plan to, on what to do here. Oh, and speaking of, so there was a bracket here and this, this, this this bracket mounted to the top of it to a mount, sort of like the RS6 chassis had um, for the V8. So uh, that's that there. Uh, in terms of, of AC compressor, this is a B6, B7 AC compressor. They are the same for the B6 and B7 with a B6 3-liter bracket. Uh, contrary to some stuff I've read, you cannot use the stock 2.7T bracket as the, uh, the uh, with because I tried that originally, and with this uh, compressor, the compressor sits back about a half an inch. So you do have to use the B6 3-liter bracket. Uh, deleted the fan, of course, the mechanical fan. Uh, riveted this, this whole piece in place, which is actually... Bent all the way around the bottom. There's no exposed time belt whatsoever. Uh, even even underneath here, it's all you know. And um, what else um, on this on the on this side here? 
also made a bracket that's also got a rubber isolator there on the back and shares a, a fastener with a bolt for a little bracket for the inner fender. So this one moves a little more, but just the nature, the, the way the back of this bracket is bent, but it's not going anywhere. Definitely better than a lot of the stuff I've seen. Um, you know, don't you don't want this hard mounted. Uh, you know, you don't want too much vibration going through there. Um, added added to the 2.7T harness, this um, this connector is actually cracked. Came in the box like that. I gotta uh, uh, fix that. I added a couple wires that go right in to the rest of the harness. Um, just to make it look pretty. Also, uh, these wires that went to the coolant temp uh, coolant uh, or fan switch, I should say, um, they were typically se uh, separate from the engine harness the, on the V5 and C5 chassis. They don't, uh, uh, you know, they don't run to the ECU as opposed to the B6 and 7. Uh, the fans that control the fan modules, where there, which there's one here, and there's another one that sits up, up in front here on the uh, on the uh, bumper support. They are con they are controlled via PWM a PWM signal from the ECU, not independently controlled via switch like the old cars were. I'm gonna lower this a little bit here and just kind of show the top. One sec. So looking at the top here, as I was saying, this um, the coolant fan switch I have added wiring right in um, and it kind of goes right into the main harness here uh, hard to see the poor lighting in here but um, see if I can fix that I right, got a little better light so anyways the uh, that coolant switch runs through the harness here I also ran into the harness the additional wiring for the uh, AC compressor which on the B5 and C5 chassis it runs through the through the body not through the engine um, the uh, one thing to note as well on the coolant reservoir here, the um, uh, the engine harness runs above and behind the coolant reservoir, not underneath of it like on the B5 and C5 chassis. Uh, this is a, a C5 all-road uh, bracket for the uh, harnesses, uh, and it's got this nice shield on it, so I adapted it to fit uh, this chassis here with some custom fastening. Same with this side bracket here, just some some cushion, stainless steel cushion clamps to hold it in place. The... Uh, a B7 RS4 fuel line actually ends up fitting perfectly uh, without you know being kinked or any weird routing. It is kind of close to the valve cover, but I am still going to use the, the plastic valve cover gaskets or valve covers, I should say. Uh, so this shouldn't be any any issues with heat here. Um, using the uh, B7 RS4 95 millimeter mat, Bosch MAF, so I've converted it to a Bosch plug here, and that, you know try to clean all that up too. Uh, so it looks pretty. Um, uh, so these are the, your inlets. Uh, what else here? This is the uh, the stock 2.7T hose, as is this bottom hose here. Now this this bottom hose or the radiator is clocked differently on uh, uh, on the B6. So I, in order to be able to use this hose that has the connector for the rad uh, switch. I had to cut the little, the little uh, clocking tabs that are on the radiator. So the clocking tabs that align with this, I had to cut them off the B6, B7 radiator. Otherwise, this would go in in a weirdly uh, angle like this, which I did not want. So um, either way, that has no, no plays no role in securing the hose. It's sec the hose is secured with the, with with this uh, clip. Um, oil cooler, I have removed the stock. Uh, um, liquid to liquid cooler, and um, I'm using the the uh, the stock B7 RS4 cooler sandwich plate in here. I removed the original three quarter sixteen st uh, 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 stud that was in here for the oil filter that was much longer for to accommodate the stock cooler. So um, uh, I just bought a little inch and a half long one there. Goes that goes on there. We've got our AN fittings, and these will go right through a nice right through a uh, a nice uh, opening in the rad support of the B7 RS4 um yeah so uh, we'll uh, I'll touch back I'll touch base again here when I got the front end on